They're out there absolutely where the world is going, uh, you know, trying to, to, to get down this path to something faster, simpler, easier. And Chris and Colin, if I could go back, oh, this is probably eight years. So uh, somebody that Chris alluded to earlier, who I had the good fortune to work with at Information Week and then later at Oracle as well, John Foley. I remember he did an article. It was about um, I sure it was Eli Lilly. So the pharmaceutical company, they had just signed some deal with Amazon for their researchers to use. And John got to talk to some of his researchers after they'd been playing with it for three or four months. And the one guy said, this has changed our conception of time. He said, before we had to scale down the type of research we did because we knew to run certain tests, you'd have to get in and provision another server and this and this. So he said, we, we, not happily, but we were forced to scale down the scope of our dreams and our ambitions because it just took too long to get the computing power up. He said, now with Amazon, he said, you don't have that limitation. So we've had to reimagine the concept of time and what we can do, what we can explore, what we can evaluate in a very limited amount of time. And he said, that's still making our heads spin. But when we get used to that, it's going to have extraordinary changes in what we as a company can do. And that was eight years ago. And think about how much better they are now. And they're going to start to give customers more choice as they come in to the database side. Now, Oracle laughs at them and says, it'll never do it. It'll never work. And okay, maybe it'll never be up to Oracle standards. But, you know, how much of that database bone do they chew off before, you know, they, they own it? Well, and you said it, it's all about the customer and what problem the customer thinks they're solving. And so the database is only important as a solution in the context of a problem the customer cares about.